Okay. I was about to... I was about to be real sad for a second, because I almost just pressed the load button instead of... The, I mean, I almost just saved the game instead of loaded it. So that was about to be real bad. Anyways, we're... This should be the finale. This should actually legitimately be the finale. So... Um... Hopefully that works out. And I don't, um, get killed on the way there. Also, I think I might just barely have enough time to beat the game in less than eight days. But that depends on how the game handles Castlevania. Also, there apparently is actually a church in this town. I don't know if I'm going to actually visit it. Never mind, yes I am. Because it's on the ground floor. This is honestly just time loss in terms of how I play the game, but... Um, I would rather take the two health, I guess. Whatever. So, yeah. I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible, because I do want to get the best ending. Despite my likely semi-suboptimal timings on a lot of things, you know? So, hopefully this should work out. I don't know, though, honestly. So, yeah. We will see. I don't know, because I'm definitely... <laughs> I could be rushing through things more. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These things are going crazy. Also, I don't know if it's even worth it to try... I only have one laurel left. Sure, why not? I mean, this probably wasn't worth it. But let's just, you know... I, don't, I also don't know if I want the knife or the holy water out. I don't actually have anything else to... Like, w like, hit with holy water, so whatever. Okay, I think that was kind of an expert play Laurel move. We're going straight to Castlevania. Also, I do actually have stuff to hit the holy water with now. I remember now. We're going to Castlevania. This is the town of Yomi. And there's nothing in it. It's very decrepit. Um, I'm not going to spend any amount of time here because that would involve going upstairs, and also it's nighttime now. <laughs> yeah. Also, god, I almost forgot about this. I was gonna talk about some ambitious plans of mine, right? I got frame makers the other day. Oh, these are blocks back. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Um, and basically the plan, as it stands, is I'm gonna try and mod, not mod, but like put using fray tools, uh, Owl Boy in the game, probably over the summer, just because I don't, I've never done this before, and it would take a while for me, for me impossible. Anyways, here we go. There we go. See, that's what I needed to do. And I think this is legitimately like the last screen before we get to Castlevania itself. Castlevania being the name of Dr Dracula's castle. It's not like Castle Dracula or anything. You know? Anything cool like that. No, it's... Also, does time pass here? No! Okay, good. We're gonna beat the game in less than seven days. I thought it was gonna be... I'm gonna have to like use a cop-out and say, oh, it was less than eight days. But no, time doesn't pass here. So, very epic. I'm gonna actually beat the game in less than seven days. And, um, I will be... I will go down as history as one of the most epic of gamers. Of course, this being completely unrelated to how epic I am as a gamer. Um, and I'm gonna make sure to edit the video down so that I only look like I took one try to do this, because it's definitely gonna take more than that. Actually... <laughs> I don't... I don't know, honestly. Because it's possible I just, like, I, like, get freaking good old Vlad in a lock and beat his cheeks. It's fully possible. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. I feel like I got lucky with the way that, um, uh, what's his name? Okay. We're just going to do a tactical save right here, because I haven't saved since the game, since the video started, and... <laughs> seems like a good idea. Also, I have 256. 256 magic. This is gonna be easy. Check this shit, man. 
I got I got all this stuff here. I gotta revive Dracula just so I can beat his ass again. It's very important that I do this. Also, dang. Sheesh. Okay, there he is. Okay. This is gonna be harder than death. Maybe. Okay, what in the heck? Oh, okay, never mind. We did it, guys! <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, nice. We're, we're praying at the grave of Dracula. You know, hopefully his soul rests in peace and he never comes back. And we all know that he's never coming back. Like, it's definitely never going to come back again. Like, we all know that this was actually the last Castlevania game, right? There's no Castlevania 3 or... God, there's definitely not a Super Castlevania 4. So, you know. We put an end. We put an end to the Eternal Darkness for good. Like, this is, this is what? The 1800s? Uh, apparently, the series starts in, like, the 10 hundreds. So, yeah. The 1000s. Like, 1094 or something. I'm gonna see if I can get that one, but I think I would have to emulate a PS1, which I don't know if I can do. His blood and sweat have penetrated the earth. Yeah, it's not the only thing I've penetrated. <laughs> Anyways. It will induce magic. And, uh... Happiness. Very nice. For, for... For thousands... For those... For those who, uh... Those who walk... On the grave, you know? For those who walk on this land. Very nice. It's a good thing that Dracula is never coming back. This is the canonical ending where Dracula dies and doesn't come back. Yep. Right? <coughs> Bruh. Not cool. He came back. Well, that was it, huh? <laughs> Step into the shadows of the Hell House. You've arrived back here at Transylvania on business. Destroy forever the curse of the evil Count Dracula. 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 That feels like it was really short. I'm kind of surprised it didn't, like, take as long. Did it just save the game? After I beat the game? God, it's a good thing I didn't try beating it before now, just for a test run or anything, huh? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright, well, that was the entirety of Simon's Quest, and I actually beat it in time, which I'm a bit surprised about. And you know what? Just because I feel like this has been really short, I'm gonna actually read the the freaking or you know what, I could watch the staff credits. Let's watch the staff credits. Never mind, that's anniversary collection as a whole. <laughs> we don't care about that. I think I will talk about a bit more about what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna play Super Castlevania 4, because apparently this is just a remake of Castlevania 1. Which I don't know if I believe, because it looks a whole heck of a lot better. Um, you know, you know it would be really cool if I could actually control the scroll speed on this. Uh, let's see. A hundred years have passed since the last battle between Dracula and the Belmonts. Transylvanians are reporting mysterious sightings of odd creatures. As spring approaches, the citizens prepare for a traditional celebration. God, this thing has a lot of freaking dialogue. Yap, yap, yap. Shut the heck up. All right. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look back through the good old, you know, Castlevania backlogs and see what all I can even play on PC. Because I want to say most of it's for PlayStation, which I never even had a PS1 or two. The only thing I ever had it was a PS3, and that was pretty short-lived. So. Uh, will I keep playing the games? Probably. Will it be the most legal thing in the world? Um, maybe not, but, you know, if they really want to get... Well, actually, I guess there is a bundle. There might be a bundle available for PC, which is, um... Ah, uh, what was it? Like, Rondo of Blood, and, um, also I might play Kid Dracula, but I probably won't. Um... It's like Rondo of Blood and, um, 
Symphony of the Night, which is Symphony of the Night is like the most famous one, which is weird. I don't remember why I friggin' forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, are there? I don't think there's uh, you know. To make your game experience much more fulfilling, please read it before and after playing the games. Oh. Very nice. Maybe I'll do that, probably won't. I'm really just going... I'm padding, I'm not gonna lie. This, this feels like it took five minutes, but it probably was longer than that. I don't think I'm gonna play the Game Boy games, just cause look at them, they're... You know... I don't know if these are even canonical. In the first... Castlevania Adventure. Oh, actually, no, these are... These are canonical, aren't they? But they're... Suppose... They're like... Basically Castlevania 1 and 2. So, you know what? I played the better versions of those in... Great color and wonderful detail. So, on the next time... We're gonna be playing another NES game, Dracula's Curse. And... Hopefully that doesn't kill me. So you know what? This one's about Trevor. The moon burns red overhead and the black wings blah 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 The lake here? Ah, but no one drinks an eye. The village is dead calm and is all because the people have fled after receiving warnings of Count Dracula and assembled a mighty evil army. The last line of defense is you, Trevor Belmont! Hey, The forefather of Simon Belmont! Oh my gosh, this conference beforehand! It's Trevor! Grant to nasty! <laughs> The ferocious ghost pirate. Oh, cool, we get to transform into spirits. Sophia Bonatas and Alucard. Oh, very nice, actually. The mystic whip. You must possess the strength to wield the mighty battle axe and mystic whip, which were given to you by the poltergeist king. Nice, this is basically the Castlevania series. This is the castle, the epic Castlevania Netflix series. We're gonna do that next time, though. Till then, though. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will vanquish you for all eternity, and you will never come back. Because I'm so good at that. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.